Hello everyone. I am here tonight to support the residents and landowners in Columbia and Northumberland counties. I oppose the Atlantic Sunrise Pipeline and the draft environmental impact statement. And as I stated last night in Lebanon, I request that you extend the comment period for this draft at least 30 days and that you address each comment in a supplementary draft that has its own comment period. The DEIS argues that the impacts of constructing the Atlantic Sunrise would be reduced to less than significant levels. In the supplemental draft, I want you to define the word significant because clearly you and I have different understandings of that word. The word significant is among the vacuous and undefined terms that the industry and you, FERC, use to justify this project and minimize the impacts. In the introduction of the impact statement, you claim that the need for the project will not be determined in this document. However, you use the need for the project as a reason against the no action alternative, stating that while no action would eliminate all the environmental impacts, Transco would not be able to move gas from the well pads in Northeast PA to the delivery points in its network. Why do the objectives of the company influence your environmental review? If FERC were not a rubber stamp, stamp agency, it wouldn't. The second, the second contradiction of capitalism correctly states that the conditions of production will be degraded as corporations and individuals pursue the endless accumulation of resources and capital. These degraded conditions are not only defined as the air, soil, water, and ecosystems that comprise our environment, but the conditions that guarantee community and individual rights to quality of life, public health and safety, and community self-determination. The landowners and residents along the proposed route are treated by FERC and by Williams as merely the conditions of production, production that will only produce money for the industry. The lives of these residents and the environment will become degraded. Industry representatives have mentioned that around 25% of the wells in PA do not have adequate access to the pipeline network. The fact is that the rapid extraction of PA has flooded the market, causing the price of natural gas to drop. The industry has ceased drilling and proposed this pipeline build-out to access markets overseas so they can overcome the low price and make profit. The Atlantic Sunrise is an example of this and I oppose it. The cumulative impacts of the pipeline build-out should be included in the environmental impact statement and FERC should recognize the error in permitting this to continue. Columbia County deserves better. Columbia will decide, not FERC, and Columbia says, no! no.